biggest mistake that you are making right now on your Instagram account is talking or having your bio purely only talking about you, yourself and yourself. <laughs> What you actually should have on your Instagram bio is how you can help your ideal client and how you can solve them. Now in today's video, I'm going to walk you through what is all involved in the perfect Instagram bio to attract qualified leads into your business, people who are actually interested and wanting to take a closer look. As I was working with my clients on creating strategic video content, we were creating this content, but there was no action happening because they were missing the important piece, the structure of the funnel. So if you're finding that people are leaking through your own pipeline, let's take it back to step one and making sure that your bio is perfected for your brand. Now that you're going to be constructing the perfect bio, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because next week I'm going to be posting a video that's going to help you rank up by using the best digital marketing strategies to recruit more in 2021. You don't want to miss that, so make sure you hit that notification bell. Now, as a video marketing expert and strategist, I have helped hundreds of social sellers turn their cold market into their warm market using my proven marketing strategies that work to convert your followers into clients or business partners, again, using my proven method. So if you want to learn more tips to do exactly that, head over to the description part of this video because in there you can get access to my exclusive Facebook community. Now this is a community of modern social sellers who are heading the wave of the new era of network marketing. So make sure to go join the group, ask to join the group because you're in there is going to be some exclusive monthly trainings that you can have access to. Your bio is prime real estate that will turn your follower into your warm market in a matter of seconds if this is done correctly. This is how you're gonna make your first impression on people. So think about it this way. As your followers or audience or people on the platform are finding and coming across your content, the first thing that they're gonna to want to do is click on your name. After that, they're taken to your profile where they will read your bio. Now, what your bio says is so important because again, in a matter of seconds, you have now made a first impression on that person and they will therefore decide whether or not the content that you have serves them and how you can help them, but more importantly, if they wanna stick around to learn more from you. So again, let's go back. Does your bio talk about yourself or how you can help them? So to learn how you can actually utilize and use Instagram to help you grow your network marketing business, then make sure you go watch this video right there because in there I go a lot more in depth on how you can actually utilize the power of social media and Instagram to actually grow your network marketing business. In today's video, we're just specifically talking about your bio. So if you apply what you learn in this video with what you learn in that video, then together you're gonna actually have your Instagram working for you. In your bio, you you are limited to only 150 characters, so you need to use each character wisely. So again, you don't want to talk about yourself or who you are. The only time that you're gonna be sharing about who you are is what you do, what you're the expert in, and perhaps what your credentials are, or perhaps even where you are credible in. So if, for example, as seen in, and maybe if you're featured in something, that is where, and what definitely things that you wanna bring up and talk about yourself but again this is because it's bringing in that layer of expertise and talking about exactly what it is that you do now let's break down what is in a perfect bio number one is a keyword a, a tag in a sense that is attached to your name to actually show exactly who you are what you're the expert in so if you look on my Instagram for an example it says Kate even though my name is Caitlin I shortened it up to just saying Kate because again 150 characters I want to use every character here to my advantage. So Kate, and I, then I put video strategist. So right there, you know immediately that I'm gonna talk about video and strategy related to video content. The second thing is your niche statement. This is very important. So I would make sure that I completely have made up my niche statement using as many characters as I needed, and then the remaining characters are for everything else. So in your niche statement, this is how your ideal client will identify exactly what your niche is, and if they 
they are your ideal client, how you can actually help them and serve them and what results you can give them through following or looking through your Instagram content. So how to construct your actual niche statement goes like this. First, you're gonna say, I help or I empower, then you're gonna add in an adjective. Now, the adjective, you want it to be a pain point or a pleasure point. It's usually easier to stick to the pain point because most people want to turn their pain into pleasure or run away from their pain. So add in that adjective, then you're gonna list who. So who is your ideal client? Maybe it's single moms, maybe it's professional women. Who is that person that you're helping or empowering them? And then you're gonna add in your X, Y, and Z, the what portion of your niche. So what are you helping that professional woman with? And then after that, you're gonna bring in the results. So what are the results that you can help that person, that adjective person with? What are those results? That is how you construct your niche statement. So again, if you go to my Instagram, you will see that I help stuck social sellers turn their cold market into their warm market through the power of social media. I think that's what it says anyways. Something along those lines. Now, following your niche statement is your call to action. This is very important because why should someone click your link? This is the link, the URL hosting system is where or how you're actually gonna convert them off of the platform or into the next step into your funnel. So first, you need to start with that call to action. Why should they click that link? What is enticing them to actually click that link? Now, just saying, uh, click the link for more information, that's not specific enough. I want your call to action to be very specific and tell them exactly if they click this link, this is why. This is why they need to click the link, the results that they're gonna get just cause they're gonna click the link. Do you see how that's very enticing to, to really get them to click the link? Now, what your URL should be or what that link should be is something to take them into the next step through your funnel. What it should not be is your direct shopping link with your company, okay? I see this way too often and for if you have that on as your link, I wanna ask you, how many times did somebody actually click that link or how many times did somebody actually click that link and follow through with signing up as a business partner or purchasing product? Now, if that has happened to you, it's because you've already secured your audience and they're so opted into learning and listening and doing all things with and for you. But if that's not you, the link should should not be that direct shopping link because you're basically sending off, sending them off into the sea of the internet to go get lost and there's no follow through system. There's nothing that is taking them step by step, like holding their hand step by step to the very end process that you want them to go, which is again, a client business partner, right? So now that I've taught you how to construct that perfect bio, I want you to go back to your Instagram bio and I want you to actually take a look and read through yours, others, maybe your sidelines and see what part of people's bios do you like? What attracts you to their bio? And give yourself an audit here. And in fact, now that you know how to construct the perfect bio, I actually want you to now change it so that it actually serves and helps you in this whole funnel building process. And now I want you to type the word boss in the comments if you are ready to actually implement some of these strategies and grow your business, promote to the next level using social media. And to get featured in next week's shout out series, make sure to take a screenshot of this video and post it to your stories. Tag me on Instagram at kate.redding where you will have earned a spot to ask me a specific question related to today's topic that I will answer in next week's video. And then make sure that you ask to join my free Facebook community. This is a community of modern social sellers who are waving this next era of network marketing. In this group, it's a safe, connected place to share our success in our own individual companies across the platforms and a place that you can connect with other social sellers who are breaking this box of duplication and really kind of doing and building their business the way that they want to, the way that they love. So it feels really good. Make sure to go ask to join that Facebook group. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single time I post a new video that will teach you marketing strategies that are gonna turn your cold market into your warm market and create a massive pool of prospects to talk business with. I'll see you guys in next week's video.